Hey folks, Tristan here. We've been working hard on ND over the last few weeks and I think it deserves an overview video. We've added numerous quality of life updates, enhancements and new features that are designed to make your work more efficient and enjoyable. In particular, I'll demonstrate two special new features towards the end of the video, so stick around. I'm sure you're all eager to see what's changed, so let's dive right in. The first enhancement we'll examine is extended mouse behavior support. This is just a fancy way of saying that for certain operators, such as Bevel, you can now adjust the segment count by scrolling up and down, similar to how Blender's native Bevel operation works. This feature requires mouse values to be enabled, but it is optional. This new setting is in the ND add-on preferences under the UI tab. It is enabled by default moving forward. However, if you prefer the old behavior, turn it off and your scroll wheel will continue to adjust whichever parameter you have active in the overlay. Next is a minor update to the toggling of util visibilities. Previously, when toggling the utils for a single object, ND would only show you the utils that are directly tied to the object. However, if you have second or third order utils, they would remain hidden. And you will now recursively search through an object's utils and any utils of those utils and so on until all have been detected. This is great if you often perform cut the cutter operations and subsequently want to see all those utils again when toggling them. While working on this, I also added a new shortcut for the global toggle of utils bound to shift plus T. This shortcut is a quick and easy way to hide and show all utils in the scene without opening the viewport menu. Now this next feature is something I've wanted for a while, the ability to have recalled operator parameters locked by default. It can be found in the add-on preferences under the UI tab. It ensures that all parameters are locked when you recall an operation so you don't accidentally change a value, which is especially useful if you use mouse values. Alongside this option, we've also allowed you to change the reset key's default behavior. By default, it will now first unlock a value instead of resetting it to its default value as ND previously did. After being unlocked, if hit again, the value will be reset. This pairs well with the lock overlay parameters on recall option. I'm sure, much like myself, you prefer your previous values to stay intact instead of being completely reset. But again, if this is not something you're keen on, you can change the default behavior back to reset under the key map tab. One minor feature we've added to the cycle operator while in modify mode is the ability to freeze the current state. Suppose you're scrolling through the modifiers and would like to complete the operation but don't want all the modifiers to return to the original visibility settings. In that case, you can hit F and then close the operator. Let's now jump into edit mode. From here, we can now run a few of ND's operations that were previously only possible in object mode. This includes profile extrude, Screw, Mirror, and Circularize. While on the topic, we've also added a new option to the Mirror operator called Symmetrize. When enabled, this option immediately applies the Mirror on completion. So leveraging this, you can quickly achieve a similar effect to Blender's Symmetrize Mesh operation, but now from both edit and object modes. I'm especially excited about the last two features as I've wanted to implement both for quite some time. The first is Smart and Linked Duplicate. These operators behave like Blender's Duplicate and Linked Duplicate operators with the notable addition of all the selected objects utils being duplicated. This means you no longer have to toggle or show all utils and ensure that the objects and the utils are selected when performing a standard duplicate operation in Blender. Simply select an object and choose either Smart or Linked Duplicate from the Utils menu or hit the new Shift-Alt-D or Shift-Alt-S shortcuts respectively. Now, building on this is a new experimental feature called Sync Modifiers. To help demonstrate this, let me create a simple bolt head model. With that complete, I'll use the link to duplicate operator to make a few copies of this object. Now using the link to duplicate operator alone, we can go into edit mode and adjust the mesh data, which will cause all duplicates to be updated as their data is linked. However, if we wanted to adjust a modifier like the bevel, we could only do that on one object at a time. 
This can be rather tedious, especially if you wanted all the bolts to remain identical, as you'd have to go through and update all of them and remember to use the same settings for each. This is where sync modifiers come in. This is still an experimental feature, so to see it, you'll need to enable experimental features under the add-on preferences. With it enabled, let's select the bolts to remain synchronized and then select the target or master bolt. We can then run sync modifiers. The operator will scan all the reference objects, and if they have modifiers matching the master object, those modifiers will now have their values automatically updated through drivers. This means we only have to update the master object and all reference objects will remain in sync. Anyway, that's most of the notable changes. If you'd like to see the full list, check out the change log. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback or ideas for new features. If you'd like to get early access to new ND releases or help test out new experimental features, consider joining our Discord server. It's also a great place to chat with other ND users, 3D artists, game developers, and the Huge Menace team. If you'd like to support us and help fund the ongoing development of ND, consider purchasing it as a once-off donation from Gumroad or the Blender Marketplace, or becoming a Patreon for regular ongoing support. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this new version of ND. Thanks for watching.